This is the story about Mia the Macaw. On the 9th of September 2018, two humans saw this poor bird in need of a new home. Clinging on to something that looked like a budgie cage, they just had to save her. Mia was only 14 months old and had spent most of her life stuck in a tiny cage without any toys or room to move. Due to very minimal human interaction, she was terrified of the human hand, but was very, very fascinated in Mikey. She had never seen another bird before, let alone one that looked just like her. New Mummy Human tried to show Mia how the human hand could offer great cuddles. Mia did not want this at all and would back away very quickly. That night, the humans took her home to join their family with Mikey. The first night, Mia did not want to come out of her carrier. Mummy Human gave her food to let her know that she is safe. The humans learnt that night that Mia had nearly all of her primary feathers clipped. Clipping was a procedure done far back in the day before people were knowledgeable about the mental and physical health and well-being of their bird. This drastically stunted Mia's confidence as she couldn't fly safely and due to not being held a lot, the human hand was not a stable perch for her at all. Now Mia had her own cage temporarily, which she didn't want to leave much, so by day two, the human started target training. This would help Mia understand that the human hand was a safe place to be. It was her goal to bite the stick, which would result in her receiving a tasty treat. Mia would slowly have to learn to step up on the human hand to achieve this. Even though Mikey didn't know this game, the humans still kept him involved. Mia was now getting comfortable with Mummy Human's hand and learnt to enjoy cuddles. By day four, training got a bit more complex for Mia. She would now have to step up with both feet to grab the stick. And eventually, she got the hang of it and did not even need the stick, but would always retreat back to her perch very quickly. After a few days of training, Mummy Human decided to take Mia for a very small walk. She took it very easy as Mia's balance still wasn't quite there. She flapped her wings the entire time as this was very, very new for her, but she stayed on strong. Mia enjoyed her walk so much, she then voluntarily stepped up onto the human's arm. With only a little bit of flapping this time, she was walked to the bed where she discovered bedtime cuddles. Mia just loved her cuddles. Now Mikey getting used to Mia wasn't the best in the beginning. The humans kept them apart to begin with and allowed them to be closer and closer. Mikey would always try and attack Mia, telling her she doesn't belong here. He would walk away. Mia on the other hand was fascinated with Mikey and would always quietly creep closer and closer. Sometimes Mikey would even fly to attack her. As time went on, they realized fighting wasn't the answer and it turned into some sort of flirtatious playing. Mia would even try and feed Mikey. One magical day, after much persistence, Mia regurgitated as much as she could. She was very, very brave and walked up to Mikey. At this point, they shared a magical kiss. As for Mia and Daddy Human, she did not like him one bit. Mummy Human would kiss Daddy Human's hands to show her they are safe. But she would bite him viciously. Daddy Human tried to get Mia to like him and laid out nuts all over his body. But Mia did not seem to care for this. She just wanted the love and warm cuddles of her favorite mummy human. By now, Mikey was getting used to Mia and would even preen her tail. They started getting used to each other after they began eating dinner from the same bowl. They loved their evening porridge. 
and would even share the same spoon. They started having flapping competitions in the lounge. They played together, had movie nights together, and eventually handled being closer and closer together as the humans made their perches smaller and smaller. Mia was lost when Mummy Human wasn't home. She would look for her and did not want to go close to Daddy Human, but was fine with visitors and even children. After two weeks, it was time for Mia to experience the outdoors. She had never seen the outside before and kept flapping her wings the entire time. She would come out daily and watch Mikey fly. She didn't seem phased or even curious of it. She just enjoyed observing him, flapping her wings and cuddles from Mummy Human, which she was very, very good at. By week three, Mia was on her way to join Mikey and his friends on their parrot playdates, where she met many different birds of all colors and sizes. She was very shy and didn't seem to care much of her new friends. She would observe the other birds flying and think maybe that's just what they did and all she could do is sit and flap her wings. As much as Mia wanted to sit on Mummy Human's shoulder forever, Mummy Human wanted to show her she was a bird and flight was possible. This started by running in the park where the human would flap her arms as Mia flapped her wings. This wasn't a recommended flight training technique, but it was fun for them. She would watch Mikey take off and come into land and also play high up in trees, wondering why she couldn't do the same. Mikey and Mia's relationship became better by the day. Their fights became very lazy and would stop very quickly, but even using him as a role model for her showing her what to do was not going to cut it. Due to her old humans disabling her, the humans had a lot of work to do to help Mia build wing muscles again as she wouldn't even jump to a perch. The human started slow, so Mia could just climb from perch to perch with her beak, but whenever the gap was increased, Mia would give up and start flapping her wings. Mummy human tried to flap to show her what she had to do. Even though she had mastered walking from perch to perch, when the distance was too big, she just wouldn't have the confidence to continue. The humans worked long and hard with Mia. Every night they trained her, hoping her confidence would grow. They were determined to teach her that she was a real bird. But still, if she couldn't reach it with her beak, it just was not an option for her. Mikey decided to show Mia how it was done. He was a pro at this, and she seemed more keen and eager as she saw this was possible. She never quite got the full jump, definitely got the hang of what she was meant to do. And with great encouragement, every time, she thoroughly enjoyed this over and over again. Mia may not be soaring through the skies with Mikey anytime soon, but that's okay. No matter how long it takes, she will be joining him. Daddy Human took down Mikey's old Avery and rebuilt a bigger one that they could both share. From day one till now, she is much more confident. She joins Mikey at the pub and even in the shower. Mikey and the humans were not only happy that they saved this bird from a terrible situation, but that she has brought so much joy and happiness into their lives. This has been one month with Mia.